And hello and welcome now to Friday Night Football from Steelers Stadium at Wollongong, where a big crowd has assembled for this grand final game, really, for Illawarra. They're four points out of the five. They take on the top of the table, Canterbury Bulldogs, and they've been in superb form. There's the Steelers going out onto the park now, and led by young John Cross, their captain. Riolo, Wishart, Rodwell, McGregor, McIndoe, Fritz Simon, Waddell, Schifoletti, Walsh, Cross, Pincinelli and Russell. No Bob Linder. Wins at their most recent outings against Parramatta and Cronulla. Dean Schifoletti back in the side for the Steelers as Canterbury now. Led out by Terry Lamb. Has he ever been in better form? That's the question they're asking. No Jared McCracken for them tonight. Let's have a look at their side. We watched them last Sunday. They were white hot. Goodwin, Dallas, Connolly, Smith, Darren back in the centres. Doolan, Lamb, Polamounta, Brokenshire, Sidaris, Bella, Ralph Pay. He was great last Sunday. And Dimmick. Wishart kicks off. It goes straight to Terry Lamb. And Friday night football, it's underway again. Sit back and enjoy it with us. Big night of sport on nine. We'll take it to Lords after this. And let's hope that massacre continues there for the Aussies. Broken Shire taken. Big hit there by Schifoletti. Paul Vaughton and Peter Sterling joining me in the commentary box tonight. And Ray, another one of the situations that we've seen throughout the year with the best attacking side in the competition up to date, up against the best defensive side. Canterbury, 270 points. They've been sensational with the ball in their hands. Little Warrior, even though they've been through a couple of bad patches, have still conceded less than 10 points a game. So that's a good basis for them to go into this match. Wishart comes away naturally disappointed at not being on the plane to New Zealand. Well, I think it's an absolutely criminal that he isn't in the side. When you consider the Australians have gone to Kiwiland with no goal kicker in their side, and here he is, a great player and a champion goal kicker, not in the side. Criminal. Really made it difficult on the selectors too. His last two performances, Wishart, have been... Probably his best two of the year against Parramatta last week. It was dynamic. And Ian Russell playing the ball now. A significant starting lineup position for Ian, Ian Russell. I think we'll see him there for the rest of the season. Play back for Sidaris to give it to the second man play going the other way. It was Jim Dimmick and wrestled into the ground by Russell and Cross. Terry Lamb driving it back to the 30 metre line for David Riala. He returns the ball very well, Riala. Darren Smith's defence so far tonight has been impeccable, though. McIndoe at, uh, at acting half. Simon McGregor, he's OK again. He's got some, uh, some feeling back in that ankle. And Gary Connolly comes in to put him away. Steve, I'm always keen to, to know early in the game what the talk is like down close to the sideline there between the two sides. Any, uh, any yeah, more yeah, talk can, on one side than the other? Yeah, you can easily see that the Illawarra side are revved up. They're talking to each other, but Canterbury a bit flat. They seem to be walking to a lot of plays. Simon, Russell, back inside for Simon. And the penalty goes against Canterbury for being inside the five. Inside the ten, I should say, these days. This was the incident. We take the high camera shot of it to pinpoint the fact that Canterbury were well in front of McCallum and Rod Wishart will take a kick for goal right in front 35 metres out the breeze will be just against him as he uh, puts this ball into the air Ray just looking at the Steelers this year as we have done on a few occasions the matches they remind me a little bit we talk about players after they've had a rookie year and, and done well in their first year of first grade the second year always being the difficult one it's been a little bit like that for the Steelers, for mine. The expectations of them are much greater these days after making the top three last year. And probably they're looked at a little bit closer by the other sides they come up against and know more about the likes of, of Dale Fritz, the two centres, so that the homework done against them is probably a little bit better. Rod Wisher, 35. Right in front. 54% strike rate and it's straight between the uprights. Illawarra grabs first points. They lead Canterbury. Two points to nil off the boot of Rod Wishart after 17. Pincinelli for Russell. Russell for Riala. 
Terry Lamb was beaten by the attack. 42 out from their own line. Ian Rush is starting to play a much more dominant role out there now. Here he goes up to the defence. Takes three tackles out. But each time he takes the ball forward, he's capable of passing the ball. And that puts the defence in two minds. John Cross. Five gone for the Steelers. Simon. And uh, sending it down deep into Canterbury's area. Paul Doolan. Pursued by McIndoe and brought down jointly with McGregor. But they were inside the 10. Callum says, no way. You're in front of the kicker. Stay outside the 10. But isn't the rule, right? He's just got to run 10 metres. Whether it be sideways, backwards, as soon as he runs 10, they're all on side. Now, where are they? He did set runs 10 metres in. No, the point is, Paul, though the only person that can put you on side is the kicker, you've originally got to be outside the 10. He is ruling that he was not originally outside the 10. I hope that's clear, but that's my understanding of it. Darren Smith. I only played for 13 years. I don't know the rules, really. You never chased any kicks in 13 years. This is Martin Bell. Done their homework. Russell, short ball, Rodwell. Illawarra, really straining to make a clean break on Canterbury. Waddell, they're not, uh, they're not backward in taking it up, these Illawarra forwards, but here's Stifoletti! Out and away from Dummy, half Stifoletti. Simon looking for a quick play, the ball. Struck by Canterbury, six more. Waddell, 10 metres from the line. The Steelers come alive now. Simon, Cross. John Cross, still 10 metres from the line. Riola, Simon, Russell, Piccinelli, it comes loose. David Walsh. They've been forced back by the defence. They're losing ground with the ball. So good as the Canterbury defence. Not even McGregor can break them. Wishouts with it, but this will be a knock-on. And they did well, Canterbury, to regroup there. I thought it was a wrong option taken by Luke Goodwin, as he can do in a game, kicking the ball from the play the ball to give the Steelers another set of six. Canterbury side had scrambled particularly well. That pass forced there by McGregor to Wishart. Follow him out. Dean Clay, nice pass. Now, Dimmick was taken, and I'm sure John Cross got him around the face, but Dimmick actually fell into the tackle. Wishart and Viola some work to do, and uh, that was a heady piece of work, I do believe, by Rod Wishart. He gambled and won. Yeah, very smart play. We've seen it a couple of times in the last couple of weeks. Fullbacks and wingers taking the right option, knowing how important it is for the ball not to be touched giving the other side a net affection on that occasion. Forcing the scrum, they'll get the ball. Good wait, Steelers. Nice, nice. Go on! Lock there, lock there! McCallum should have given a penalty there. Well, he saw them. He, the locked forward in exactly. second row jumped out quickly. Exactly. And McCallum saw that and just looked at them and said, no, you shouldn't do that, boys. Should have, why didn't he give the penalty? I'm blown if I know because uh, Illawarra were back on their line. Watch it again. The ball is not out. Call. Now it's out. Look at them. Should have been a penalty for the Steelers. They're 20 metres out from the line. Now Polo Mount up. You can never relax against this team. They've got players that can attack you from all over the park. Like Dimmick. Robert Ralph brought down. Nine out from the line. Illawarra leads by 2-0. Sadaris, long ball for Terry Lamb. Martin Bella puts it down. John Cross comes away. I uh, did very well in defence there, David Riolo. They were a little bit skinny out there, the Steelers, but he came up into the front line just at the right time and took Martin Bella head on. There, you see him come up the line there. The big tackle high, forces the ball loose. Good work from the fullback. Bill Dunn it is in the headgear. He was one of their star players last year. Now Terry Lamb persists in the little kick. Riolo! Oh, he put his body on the line! That was tremendous stuff by David Riola. Look, have a look at the, the kid trying to get up. Yeah, his head, head hit the ground very hard there. Jason Smith got him while he was still in the air. 
He had no protection when he came down. It was a brave take and bang, there you go. Just watching Darren Smith, the brother of Jason. Oh. I think Jason was feeling a bit poorly about what had happened and Darren went over, pat him on the back and said, good tackle. Riolo, well, you've got to be full of admiration for David Riolo. He never is frightened to put his body on the line and that's exactly what he did there. Clean break. I don't know. I'm just looking across at our statistician. Have you registered a clean break in the game? Probably just the one from Skifalidi, Ray. Remember when he yeah. was up the middle? One of the few ones of the night. Goodwin looking for Paul Doolan to take it away. John Frost jolts the ball loose. So 25 metres out from the Canterbury line. Illawarra's loose head and feed. And take your hat off there to John Simon, who put his players on side. That allowed him to come up with a tackle. 2 0, but a good chance for Illawarra. Simon through to Russell, and now for McGregor trying to pave his way through. This defence, he's lost the ball. McCallum saw it. Well, that's a good piece of refereeing. I gave him Buckley's chance of seeing that. Well, did Connolly play at that ball, or did it just come out with McGregor struggling? Let's have a look at it. You ask the, the question. The hand is in there from Connolly. Oh, he's dead set had a tug at that, and Money. it's come out. And again, in a position where the referee wouldn't have been able to see that being on the far side. I would imagine looked at the touch charge and must have got a shake of the head. Sitting on the fringe of the rucks. Sidaris for Lamb, short passing through Robert Ralph out to Jim Dimmick. Inside chance for Lamb. Now Pincinelli, he's wrapped up. Oh, he's looking for McIndoe on the outside, but he's back on the inside. Here go the Steelers. Russell chimes in. Dale Fritz, he promotes it for McGregor. And he's cut down by Conley. Gee, their defence has been good. Darren Smith and Gary Conley. Wisher, 30 metres out from the line. 2-0 in favour of the Steelers. David Walsh. Can't go through them. We can't go over them. So he's trying to run over the top of them. Waddell. Simon. Cut out. Cut. Cross. Looks for support. Simon. Simon does a juggling act. Forward pass. Riolo was a mile in front of him. Well, this should be a penalty to Canterbury. It looks like he was offside, wasn't he, when he received the football. Some good interchange of passing here by the Steelers. John Simon heavily involved. He's in everything. Had a blinder. Held on to that one. Now, Riolo's three feet in front of him. Ian Russell. Russell! Oh! oh he drops the ball coming out the other side. He looked like he was away there, but Martin Bell had just hung on to him, and Russell dropped the pill right at the death. Another good opportunity. Bumped off Terry Lamb and away he goes. And the oh, ball no, goes astray. No accountable reason actually for him to drop the ball. There's the siren. Only the two points scored in the first half. They were scored by Illawarra's Rod Wishart. Other than that, it's been a grind and some very heavy tackling. Illawarra 2, Canterbury 0. Effort Some, in 40 minutes of football. Sometimes when you see that much defence being done by a player, Ray, you don't see them in attack. There's a charge down here from Jason Smith, and he did the right thing by diving on the ball and cleaning up. Canterbury on a roll. Terry Lamb looking for Robert Ralph, who's in support. He finds Polamata. Russell went for a high shot. It backfired. Pincinelli has to make the tackle. A chance here for Canterbury. Away for Jim Dimmick. Um, Dimmick wrestled to the ground by Schifoletti. Yeah, they were a mile offside. Should nearly have put someone in the sin bin. He's, he's pointing to, to Fritz. And he made no effort at all to get back on side. Dale Fritz on his walk down to Greg McCallum and he says to John Cross, if he doesn't make an effort to get back on side, I'll put him in the bin. Canterbury gets the shot for goal that they've been waiting for. Well, let's just have a look. There's Fritz there didn't come into the tackle but he was the outside man and that meant that Canterbury had no chance of throwing the ball out there where they should have created some space by the speed of the play of the ball good one 20 out 10 in he's got it oh incredible kick 
It looked like a Paul Vorton 9 iron that went wrong. Oh, was that the worst kick you've ever seen in your life? And it snuck over. Doesn't matter how they get there. Or a Paul Vorton 9 iron that went right, actually, right? Jason Smith gave a neat pass in that exchange. Sadara throws the dummy. Lamb goes up the centre. Penny offload. No. This is the last. Sadara puts the kick across. Wishart read it. Gets away from the end goal. Oh, good play, Rod Wishart. Yeah, great run, Rod Wishart, to get out of his own territory. He's run 30 metres to make five, but there was desperation stakes for the steals. Here's a big run by Piccinelli. Oh, great stuff. Great work from both Wishart and David Walsh, who came up with the tackle on Cherry Lamb. That led to this next play, Wishart getting out from the in goal area. End to end stuff now. Let's not lose sight of the finesse either of Jim Sedaris. I know it didn't come off for him, but uh, he's got he's got all the skills, Sedaris. David Walsh bombarded by the defence. One of the beauties of Jim Sedaris, Ray, is he carries the ball out in two hands. Good ball players do that. They don't tuck it under the arm and confine their options. They hold it out there and put the defence back on their heels. Lamb. Goes for the drop goal. It's well wide, the kick. I'm just wondering about the tackle on Lamb. It's been allowed to go. No interference from touch judges or referee. He's had a big game. I bumped into his grandmother before the match, and she was very proud that... Uh, John was capping the side for the first time, so old Granny Cross should be a happy lady tonight. Good puts it down. Connolly, he comes away for Canterbury. They're 20 metres out. He's got the winger on his outside, but he is wrapped up by the defence. 10 metres out for the line. Slow play the ball. Connolly is wounded. Away now for Jason Smith. He tries to step inside. He's five metres from the line, centre of the ground. Sedaris. Yeah, hand in the play the ball. Penalty. Penalty to Canterbury right in front. Right in front. Presentation two points. Let's have a look at this on the replay. Just watch Simon's right hand. There it goes. That's really stupid play there by Simon. He's had a fine game in front of your sticks, two all. And with 15 or so minutes remaining, to give away the two points is ridiculous. It's also silly, Paul, isn't it? If he'd have had a look left and right, he'd have seen that his defensive line had done a great job to get back and get themselves set. So it wasn't as though if the play of the ball had have been affected that it was a certain try. Luke Goodwin now up and right in front. Oh, he's only just got it again. Well, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. The bench is laughing. They're accepting the two points. Canterbury lead by four points to two. Plus, it gives you the chance to get that defensive line set, doesn't it? Big push by Canterbury, but the penalty has been given to Illawarra. We got them from break for breaking before the ball had come out. That's that indication from McCallum. They were both probably guilty of it, though. It was a toss of the coin penalty, I suppose. <laughs> Greg getting a pass round the back, and then John Simon. No, but he's ruled it for. Think it was. No way. Looked okay, but we're right in line with that up here in the box. It looked fine here. That pass is okay. That one's okay. Time. Sedaris. David Walsh comes in to shut him down. Sedaris gets it away. Illawarra, they come away with the ball through Dale Fritz. Here's a chance for them. John Simon, Ian Russell. Holds it back. Rodwell puts it down. Well, there they go again. Lock it up if it goes the Bulldogs' way. Luke Goodwin gets out, tries to get the drop goal in. He's hit the upright with it. Walsh comes away three metres from the line. Well, he's gone down a couple of clubs there. He's down to about a six iron. And Luke Goodwin has been flirting with the crossbar, and now he takes it on again. Or was it the upright? Well, it's hit both. 
it's gone off the upright onto the crossbar and back out. It, it's gone in and come back out. It's almost got a magnetic effect on the ball every time it comes off the boot of Luke Goodwin. McGregor a dummy half. Fritz. Back and away for John Cross. Outside the 30 metre line now. Both sets of, uh, of defence starting to tire. Russell, it's a better time in the match to have the football than be chasing it. David Walsh. Nearly to the halfway on four tackles. John Simon. John Simon! No! Oh, Darren Smith! Super tackle by Smith. Rodwell into the air on the last. Wishart coming in from behind. Oh! Wishart went above the pack. I think all the bench players have gone well tonight. Uh, Billy Dunn's had a big impact for Willow Warris since he's been on. Luke Goodwin. Way down into the end goal for Rod Wishart. Chancy pass out to Riolo. He runs away from Dean Payne. Now Riolo, right up the centre of the park. Oh, he had Wishart outside him. Oh, big run, big run. No Canterbury defence here. They've got to spin it out wide. He's gone for Canterbury. Lamb will put it up. David Riolo's coming up again. Oh, Gary Connolly beat him to the punch. The ball comes out the back and the referee rules the turnover. In other words, he's saying that Illawarra didn't come in contact with the ball and Canterbury used up their six tackle. Simon, Watson, Russell, Riolo, Rodwell. Rodwell straining to unload, but he couldn't. Just about got to run this one now for the last tackle. It's going to put Dell, that little chip. Darren Smith will clean it up. That's the ball game. Darren Smith, he'll have to wait for the tackle. He doesn't want to volunteer it. And there it is, full time. No tries. It was always going to be never say die for Illawarra. That's the way they played it. But they weren't good enough to beat Canterbury, who's fast becoming one of the favoured sides to take out the 1993 title. The Bulldogs, they win by four points to two.